She woke me with grumblings of a paper cut from erotic fiction. Tea was set down. I woke again later to find it tepid as tap water. Discs of greasy milk bumped and broke each other as the cup was carried to the nearest sink. A mosquito floated to the surface. I should have been born on a beach. I should have listened with more intent to the storytellers with bad skin. I should not now lust for the hours in which I am free to break teeth and walk merrily on to the next mouth. But nobody need know that, or anything at all. She showed me the sting slotted between fingers, but my concern was misplaced. Our trees aren't being wiped out fast enough. Only when the last tree stands will we truly appreciate nature. And only after, when the last survivor is left sucking the gases from grass patches, will he come to appreciate man. But nobody need think about that, or anything at all. She tells me about her book. I imagine the many legs the mosquito drew food from before he came to die in my cup.
ever since, ever now, ever more. There you will tell me, parent, pedagogue, passerby, of the great things people have done. But spare me the fairy tales of titanic cathedrals, fellows of fourteen symphonies and untold bravery on the battlefield. They are mirages made for fools. So tell me instead of the real trophies, the only marvels made by mortals, the baby who was fed, the house that was planned, the hair that remained in its head, I will gawp. Tell me again, ever since I was small, ever now I am smaller, ever more, till I shrink away, of the great things all people have done, and I will share my own strange story, of how I never achieved any one. Oh. 